Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fallen Sage. Uh, we are trying to find the room that has nothing in it. Going to the uh, thingy. According to Zigbar, we are to find the room that has nothing in it. And that will yield the key to Goliath. The Seeker of Knowledge. Then after that we can go ahead and do a whole bunch of random side quests. That may or may not be beneficial. So. Is the room that has nothing in it? No. I mean, there is certainly nothing in there, but there was something in there before, so... Not nothing now. Where in the world am I supposed to be going? I think that's Zigbar's room over there. Did that, like, reset it so that the ice things were back? Or did that still, like, keep them clear? No, it still keeps them clear. Alright. So it really did nothing at all, actually. Room that has nothing in it? Get in there. Where am I trying to go? I really don't understand. I've been to all of the places. I'm so confused on where I'm going. This just leads to the freaking lava area. I mean, there's nothing here anymore. Where am I supposed to go? That's my problem. Is I don't actually know where I'm going at this point. Gotta be somewhere I'm going. But considering that I just explored the entire dungeon again, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going to. Alright, let's get out of this room. It is highly obnoxious. Uh, we know that so there we know that there's nothing up on the top floor. There's something to do with this bottom floor. Possibly even this room. This is why I'm touching all of the crystals and all of the towers. You know there's nothing there. I feel like the room that has nothing would be an indication of, like, this thing. Play a large key fits here. Alright. But where is said very large key? Slash with this, it just teleports me to the other side. And that's how you're supposed to get through the ice. There's something I'm missing in this, like, mazy area? No. I literally just wandered the entire maze area. Maybe it's around here? 
I did have to debug across that, by the way. Because, once again, that block is there. It, does, it like, doesn't go away. It doesn't say God for some reason. It's kind of obnoxious. Alright, you guys are just getting to be a pain. So... I'm wasting my freaking mana. Over and over again. a pain and the room that has nothing well obviously that room had things so why would I think that that's where it would be only reason I thought that might be something I was like hey there's like a weird like mark on the back maybe that's something I don't know I'll give it a shot yeah it was it was a weird mark and the weird mark was the key Alright, go ahead and drop a save real fast. Oh wait, that's right. can save the game here, can't we? Uh, let me... Okay, yeah, everybody's good on everything. Okay. Make our way up, and... Gliak should be right here. I am Gliak, the Keeper of Knowledge. I know events that have passed, are passing, and have yet to come to pass. I know what it is you seek, the Shard of the Triforce. I cannot simply hand it over to you. The truth as to what you plan to do, it will ruin the plans of the goddesses. You must leave, or fight me for that which you seek. Well, it's Gliak. That is indeed Gliak. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and drop go on Rage real fast. I think I can survive one round without the Barrier Stone. I'll just have Lear drop it next round. I doubt he'll deal that much damage in one round, so... Well, I mean, that was still a pretty decent amount. So I definitely want to drop that barrier stone, but still. <laughs> Go on, rage and sharpen. Hex, yes. At least I didn't go all out with freaking using attack shards or whatever. Uh, like power seeds or whatever. Ah, this is what I was thinking of when I was playing that ice boss. I mentioned that there was like a stage where like ice stuff grew. Nice! This is what I was thinking of. Alright. And that's the Mafias. Go ahead and drop that. Warlock Punch. That! I guess Undying Nephilim just did not expect. <laughs> but at the same time, it's these are your ultimate abilities, so you really should be rewarded. You know? Like yes, here's your ultimate abilities, so you know. You should obviously have the ability to annihilate everything with your ultimate abilities, because that's what they give them to you for. 
And it's just like freaking the Fierce Deity mask and Majora's mask, you know? You unlock Fierce Deity. I mean, you'll never freaking lose the Majora's mask battle, that's for sure. Wrecked? Oh, there's still one left. That was interesting. Wrath of Mafias. Boom! Dead. That was so easy. Oh my goodness. Why? Why a high red potion? That's so weird. Do you wish to know the truth, young one? This small fragment of the Triforce is what caused this mountain to explode. <coughs> you mean... The power from the Shard eventually ignited the magma of Death Mountain. Then... Then I am not responsible? Nay, you are not responsible for the destruction of your race. But if you take the Shard... As did one other in the past, you could remake what killed the Gorons. Who used the shard before? Who brought it here in the first place? Only Link is worthy of knowing the truth. I warn you, Link. The truth is cold. You cannot tell anyone else of this until the time is right. <clears throat> eh? Suddenly I'm playing Asaria. In the uh, Kokiri Forest. What the heck? What is going on? So curious. What? What? <laughs> What's so funny? You all fell for it, you fools. That's right, it is I. And now I have the Triforce Shard. I have not come this far to have you ruined my plan. Head is over now. Make <clears throat> I need that shard. Is that a tear I see, oh powerful Mido? <laughs> I enjoy playing around with you like this. <coughs> <coughs> well, I'm off to the Temple of Time to open the portal for myself. Maybe I'll let Saria walk out. <coughs> Give it to me, you damn shadow. Well. What just happened? It seems Dark Link killed Gliok before we got here. And he plans on using the shards. But the one shard he has isn't enough to open the portal to the Sacred Realm. It's obvious he plans on luring us to the Temple of Time. What could he possibly want in the Sacred Realm? It could be anything, sorry. It could be anything. Saria? Triforce? So what do we do? Just fall into his trap and hand him over the two pieces we have? I say we confront him at the Temple of Time and get that third piece. But what about Mido? What happened to him? What about his plan for Saria? We need to destroy the shards. As much as I wish to free Saria, the Dark Link around is too dangerous. So you're saying we get to the temple, get the last shard from the Dark Link, then destroy them? Yes. Well, what are we waiting for? Harsh. Oh. 
All right. Now, if I'm thinking right, the secret dungeon for Dorina said that it was at the grave of a sage's son. I'm gonna guess here. Send into the portal. Dorina, my descendant. I am the essence of Morpheus, your predecessor and first sage of fire. Actually, I think Morpheus is female. By the time you find this, I will likely be long gone. I leave you with my ultimate power. Ooh, this that is, if you complete this final test. Oh my! What the heck? Suddenly, this thing. Got that. Got the Goron Rage. Some kind of red crystalline monster. I guess it's the essence of Mafeus. I guess. I can't actually check because nobody has any single target attacks anymore. <laughs> well, based on what was said, I'm going to guess so. Wrath of Mafeus. You've done Mafeus. Wow. That actually didn't do very much. Like as like that should really be surprising. Remnant of Mafias. I wonder if Lear would be stronger than Barina then. Fifteen thousand. Assuming Inferno. Well, let's find out. I have uh, enough power to go this full round here, so see how much Dance of Death does. Eh, yeah, about the same amount, actually. Alright. Well, I can always try slicing dice to see if it's a bit stronger, but it's about the same amount as uh, Wrath of Mafias is doing. So. Because, you know, sometimes slicing dice deals more damage for whatever reason. Well, it dealt much less damage, but it was more than enough. Morpheus's Rage. Oh, I am the last of the great fairies. I go about granting ancient skills upon those that complete my tests. Why is it snowing? I hold in my power seven hidden powers. Each cast in the secret dungeon is this one. For you, Dorina, I give you the power your ancestor left in charge of. Left me in charge of. Din's fire. What? You have found Dorina's hidden skill. Din's fire. Yes. My next hidden skill lies at the bottom of a river's flow. All right, we got freaking Din's fire. Heck yeah! The flames of Din's flesh incarnate burns with the power of a thousand suns. Why do I have the feeling that it is going to be ridiculously OP? <laughs> oh, Blue Potion does both. Oh, I have full elixirs. Oops. Oh well. Whatever. Alright, um, well I think this is a good spot to call this episode at, uh, in the next episode, um, we will head back to Hyrule, I guess, at this point, or we'll travel to the river, but I'm gonna guess that I need Zeline for that. We need to stop Darkling before he gets to the Temple of Time.
Okay, can that go that way? Ah, am I gonna have to do Dungeon 8 and then do the trading sequence? Oh my gosh. I don't even know if the trading sequence is worth that. Hey, oh well. Oh, you know, I suppose I wouldn't see the NPC if he was in here. I'll have to check that in between episodes. See if the NPC is in here, because I didn't even realize I could get back into here. Whoops. I was not going the right space. Whoop. Music didn't change. Whoops. Hang on. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode we'll head off to the Temple of Time. Um, so that we can try to get the, uh, stuff. <laughs> um, defeat Dark Link and all that, so probably end up getting Zelene since he's at the Temple of Time, so. Um, yeah. I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Because there's the Temple of Time right there, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. See you later.